Good afternoon, everyone. I oh sorry, did I just scare you, Lumi? <laughs> she just jumped. Hello. Um, good afternoon. It is what day is it? It is the 11th of April. It was Ali's birthday yesterday, and we went out for dinner with his parents. But uh, today we're going to Bista. We're going to do a little bit of birthday shopping because my birthday is on Friday, and I'm going to be in America for it. So we thought we'd head down to Bista today, and was that you? What, beeping the horn outside? Oh, I thought that you made a beep, like a me noise. <laughs> we thought we would head to Bista Village today because we haven't been for ages. We used to go all the time, but we just haven't had a chance to get over there for a while. And I've always wanted to film a come shopping we, a come shopping we? A come shopping with me video at Bista because it's one of those places that's kind of like, in my opinion, kind of like a mythical creature because no one knows what's there. You just have to go there and see. Like, you can't look on the internet and see what they've got in stock. You can't, like, you just can't find out anything. So you just have to go there and hope for the best. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna hopefully pick up some nice bits and just have a stroll around in the sunshine because it's quite a sunny day today. Not the sunniest, not the sunniest, but not bad. So I thought that I would drag you along with us for the journey to Bista Village today and just do a sort of quick come shopping with me at Bista Village because that's what I like doing. So we're gonna get ready now and load up the car and head down there. So let's get going. But first of all, I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing. Obs. Obs. He's mocking me. Obs. So anyway, now I'm just gonna quickly show you what I'm wearing for the day and um, then we're gonna get going. This is my outfit for the day. I've got Paige denim jeans on with the one rip. Then my new sort of nudie Manolo Blahnik shoes. I've got this Valentino spike bag from my um, my haul the other day. And then this Jonathan Simkai blouse, which just gets so many compliments whenever I wear it. And I just like the way it looks with jeans. So I thought I'd wear this today. But um, yeah, that's what I'm wearing. Now we're good to go. So let's jump in the car. in the car obviously Ali's procrastinating what is that in your mouth <laughs> he's like I need to get food and drinks and stuff and so he has just had a seafood risotto at home and now he's having a sandwich and we also stocked up with some Red Bull I know that every time I ever like feature a Red Bull everyone loses their mind over it and they're like oh my god it's so bad for you but but every now and then it's not too bad I not, I like it but just yeah it gives anyway, you wings. It does, it gives you wings. <laughs> this is not sponsored by Red Bull, by the way. This is not sponsored by Red Bull. We've arrived at Vista and it actually took us no time at all to find a parking space. I feel like they've really poured a lot of money into the parking here because it's just, yeah, it's exactly. literally everywhere. <laughs> How do we get down? I have no idea. Um, so we're going to go and have a look around the shops now. I think we'll probably end up getting some food here as well, won't we? Because yes. there's so many nice restaurants. So um, let the shopping commence. Although I've forgotten my card, so I'm going to have to use the uh, joint account card, which is never good for both of us. Let's it's good go. for you, yeah. <laughs> So we're currently in the changing rooms in Saint Laurent and Ali is trying on uh, lots of really nice stuff and I'm just getting to watch. They said I could come in here and sit down, which is such a luxury. I'm just chilling. But yeah, so I haven't really looked anywhere for myself just yet, but um, it's still early days. There's still plenty of time for me to look around. This one's a lot nicer. Where it sits, it's just the wrong size. I mean, the spade is right on size small. That's nice. Yeah, this is nicer. You prefer it? Than the black one. Like, in terms of wearability. So oh, really? That black one, I'd wear it for church because it's a like cowboy. But this one, I'd wear more out. But it's quite boxy, though. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. The other one was really nice and fitted. Yeah, but that's because it was a size small. This is a size medium. No, it's a completely different shape. Mm. Could 
Joanna's apron. Like, yeah, it reminds me of a peach shirt. What's that? Do you have a peach in, in Morocco? Is it a peach? No, peach shirt. Like that's the kind of like loose fit style that he would wear. Yeah. It's nice. It's cut really comfortable, lightweight. Mhm. Mm and I could just wear it open, you know, like on the moldy beach, like you. <laughs> Fast forward a few hours and I've not bought anything. We're now in Bolandry and literally I have bought something. I've just not bought anything exciting. I bought some Calvin Klein underwear and that's about it. Ali, on the other hand, has had an absolute win and bought loads of stuff and I've totally let the team down. In fact, I haven't actually finished going around the shops though. There's still a few that I could go around. I was so hungry and I was really craving a hot chocolate that I've already drank, eaten, not eaten, drank. Um, and we're just gonna have some food now. So maybe I'll have like a second wind and I'll be able to go and look around the shops a little bit more. So if anybody wants any tips on how to become an endurance shopper, I'm your man. So Crazy. smug. Crazy you're I feel so like you're zigged in on my face here or something. No, just looking at your smug face. <laughs> I've had a good day. Vista was good to me today. It's always hit and miss with Vista. Today I hit. Hit hard, hit good. And um, I feel Coachella ready, I feel Moldy's ready. Um, I feel like I'm a better shopper than an idiot. So smug. So I've gone for the super healthy option of buffalo mozzarella and butternut squash with a little bit of pesto. Ignore the chips. Please gone for the lamb with vegetables. Ooh. I'm just winning today. <laughs> <laughs> in my vlog. No, it's not. It is. Um, so we're in the car now. It's my turn to drive home. Um, so, oh, I feel like you were like all the way up there then. Um, I think there's some things that I've realised about Vista Village today. Ali's a better shopper. Can you shut up about being a better shopper than me? I just, I feel like I'm high at the minute. With <laughs> I'm on cloud nine. <laughs> um, no. So first of all, earlier I said I feel like Bista Village is a bit of a like mythical creature. Like no one knows really what they have there. And there is a reason for that. There is a reason for that. That's to make you come and visit and not scope out. So nowhere you're allowed to, you're not allowed to film in anywhere. So if you think like I, I met a couple of subscribers when I was there, we weren't even allowed to have a pitch together when we were in like Dior or anywhere like that because then people know what the shops have so they want you to come here spend the day here and i get it i get it we've spent the entire day here and we've eaten here and it's been lovely uh the second thing that i've realized which i think is something that i've always known is that it's kind of like it's not hit and miss it's like luck that you happen to see one thing that you've always wanted and it's there and just as we were leaving we went into chloe and I pick, well, you're going to see, but I have these shoes, but I have them in the tall version. And this will be the third summer of me wearing them. And I spent so much money on them and I still wear them all the time. Every like holiday we go on, every trip that's hot, I wear these shoes. And I often thought about getting the other pair and I got them for half price. And that is why you go to Bista Village. Shut up, car. Way. Yeah, he doesn't really. He's just wanting some attention. I am. I was peacocking. Yeah, <laughs> showing off. <laughs> just showing off in front of the camera. Literally, whenever we're with out with friends, I have to tell Ali to stop showing off in front of his friends because he's one of those people that gets really hyperactive around his friends. It's the only thing you can say that belittles someone so much they've got nothing to come back with. Yeah, just like no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I was I was kind of a bit deflated when we last spoke at dinner lunch whatever and I, I just hadn't really had that moment where I'm like this is why you come to Bista and then literally Ali was like I thought we were going home and I was like just want to look in Chloe and then I looked in there and they had the grey ones well you're going to see what I got I'll show you the little bits that I got when we go home um 
and they even had them in my size like my perfect size and I'm just over the moon really over the moon so I'm gonna sing to Justin Bieber congratulations <laughs> Anyway, so now we're going home. Ali's cousin is coming round to, to get visit the us download, the because download. we have to. He's going to be house sitting for us, so um, we've got him coming over. And then Carrie's coming over also. Oh, is she? Uh, yes, she is. And yeah, that's that. So we're going to drive home in the sunset. Look at that golden hour behind at Subby. Oh, my lipstick looks really nice in this light as well. This is. Um, I think you're getting the reflection off of the wing mirror. Oh yeah, right in my face. Oh, how glowy do I look? Mm. <laughs> oh, does anybody know what that's from? So Ali and I, we went and watched Lion. Ages ago. Ages ago. But we, were but we talked about it at dinner and I obviously just loved the little boy so much. He was so cute and the way he used to run around going... <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's um, get going. Ali's yeah. going to be really social and edit yeah. on the, the journey soon. home pop, which pop, is pop. fabulous I, i'm sorry look at that that golden hour right there yeah that flare's coming through anyway we're gonna go home now so we'll see you at home and i'll show you everything that i got not that there's loads but i got you some stuff well i got you some i didn't get you anything i got me stuff <laughs> i'm incredibly incredibly tired right now i've just got back from coachella yesterday and i've had about three hours sleep so i'm so so tired i get a chance to tell you what i bought before we left, it was just such a manic rush. It's actually a manic rush now as well. I'm going to get my hair done because I have a shoot tomorrow. And then the next day we fly out to the Maldives. So it's very, very full on at the moment and I feel quite stressed not gonna lie but I wanted to get this video up before it lost kind of like the momentum and just show you what it was that I picked up I didn't pick up loads of stuff like I said in the video before it was just like it's one of those places that you kind of find something if you've been looking for it for ages or you've wanted to get a good deal on it in ages I'd found these shoes online so many times but they were always sold out in my size when they're in the sale so it's really annoying. I'm wearing the other pair that I have of these, the higher ones, so I'll show you those as well. But basically, first off, what I got was underwear. Where is the underwear? Where have I put it? Oh my God, I literally just had it. Um, so they have a Calvin Klein shop at Bista Village and they don't do the normal Calvin Kleins with the big bands, but actually I think I've realized that I prefer these ones they have a much smaller band at the bottom and i think they're over 10 pounds cheaper than the other ones so these are like 17 pounds each and i got some matching briefs as well i think i got about four of the white ones two of the gray and then a mixture of like the briefs and stuff like that just because they're so comfortable and especially when i've been flying oh my gosh i cannot wear a normal bra when i'm flying i have to wear these and they're just so comfortable so to find them for a little bit cheaper was amazing so i stocked up i think it came to like under under 100 pounds with how many i bought of them so that was quite good i thought anyway and i prefer the little band on them so yeah and then the big thing that i got is obviously for my summer wardrobe when it comes in a chloe box so this is the, so basically i bought these shoes that i have on now about two years ago and i wear them so much this is the third summer that i'm going to be wearing them they've never kind of like gone out of style i'd wanted them in this color and in this style for a very very long time so when i saw them for over half price I couldn't not get them in the in the Chloe store and it's these so you might recognize them I have them in the baby pink color uh, but they're knee-high and this is the sort of sand color originally this is what I wanted my Chloe Faye in I wanted this in this color uh, the small one that I had but this is just kind of like an off sort of tan color and I got these in a size 38 they also had them in kind of a gree a gree a gray a gray blue was what i was gonna say and this color i didn't see um any other colors in them unfortunately but this was the color that i wanted and i picked them up they've got these like beautiful gold studs here and um i think they were being sold for like 650 pounds and i ended up getting them for 300 pounds and um that made me very very happy so yeah those are just a few bits that i got from vista village 
as I mentioned, you don't always find stuff there. You don't find lots all the time. I usually find more when it's winter. I don't know why. I think it's because I like pick up lots of accessories like scarves and stuff like that. But so those are the bits that I've got, and I'll show you the shoes that I've got on now quickly. The house is a little bit of a mess because I've uh, cleaned out my wardrobe and uh, we're getting ready for another trip. But these are the ones that I bought like two or three years ago. They are quite dirty now, but I actually think they've aged really well. They're so comfortable. You can wear them like anywhere and they're just so, so comfortable whether you're going like on a city trip in the summer or whether you're going to the like beach or anything. They just look so good. And um, I'm wearing it with this dress that I got from uh, Style Bop, which I will pop in the description box below if anyone wants it. But yeah, that is everything from this little come shopping with me, little mini tiny weeny baby haul. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this vlog style video and if you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Um, there'll be lots of information in the description box and links to where you can possibly find these products. Obviously, I won't be able to find them at Vista Village because they don't have a website and neither do the like wholesale boutiques, not wholesale, the discount boutiques they don't have their own like special store or anything like that i'm jabbering um i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye